And now that he's making his debut on open mic, I'm here to tell next Broncos coach, John Fox, that if he starts Tim Tebow, he will see this guy become an NFL star. Tim, how is that for a suck-up introduction? <laughs> I appreciate it, Mr. Bianchi. I, I like it. I appreciate your support. Tim, first of all, I got to give you a little grief because, you know, we're all reporters here. We're journalists, and we were working hard to break the story on who the next University of Florida football coach was going to be. We're calling all our sources left and right, and where does the story break? Tim Tebow breaks the story on Twitter. Tim, you're going to put us out of a job. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry about that. I was actually in my hotel and we were getting ready to go play the Arizona Cardinals the next day, and and I had just found out through talking to different people at Florida and people I'm close with, and so I was I didn't know that the story hadn't broke. I just thought <laughs> it was out there, and I was like, well, I'm gonna go go ahead and, and send out a little tweet and and just be in supportive of him because I thought everybody already knew. I didn't know I was stuck in meetings all day, and when I got out, I, I found out who the coach was so I was like all right I'm gonna send him some support and, and the next thing I know everybody's like you just broke the story <laughs> so, he's a runner so. he's a passer he's an investigative reporter he is <laughs> Tim Tebow Tim you were famous at Florida obviously because of your promise speech after the loss to Ole Miss can you promise us today that there will be no NFL football games lost next season we don't want football to be lost Promise us, Tim. Well, I don't want football to be lost, and I promise that I don't want it to be lost, <laughs> but I can't promise that there will not be any games lost. If I could control that, I would, but uh, I guess I'm going to find out the um, same time you will tonight and, and try to, um, I guess, just figure everything out as it goes. And, you know, I have zero control over that. I, I wish I had more, but I don't, so. Tim, love your jockey commercials. Obviously, I'm a jockey guy, too, although I don't get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to say that. Um, Got to ask you, though, what's the best jockeys to wear? Because are, are you a boxer's briefs? Oh, definitely briefs. A lot more support and definitely better for just athletic performance when you're just hanging out or you're jogging or something like that. So, yep, you, I want, you want those briefs when you're hanging out, that's for sure. <laughs> Tim, 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 have you tried the new, the, you know, there's actually a combination boxer briefs now. Have you tried well, those? I, I haven't tried them. I might have to get a pair and see what they're like. I like them. I like them a lot. That's good. I'll take your word for it. I'll be trying. <laughs> Tim, um, obviously you are one of the ultimate competitors we've ever covered in this state. Um. How tough is it for you? How frustrating is it for you to be on the bench? Well, um, yeah, I am a competitor, and I love playing. I'm very passionate about this game, and so it is hard, um, you know, to, to just sit there and watch, especially when you, 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 you're confident and you feel like you can get in there and make plays, and, um, and it was tough. But, you know, even the games when I would, you could just go in there and play eight to ten plays of running the Wildcat or – you know, doing jump pass or something different, um, then at least I would be involved in the game, and that would be great. And then, you know, the last three games, being able to start, uh, that was a great experience and a great learning opportunity for me uh, and something that I feel very confident about going into this off season with is that learning opportunity and really uh, feeling, you know, so much better about where I'm at and, and where I can get to going into this next season. He is Tim Tebow. Heisman Trophy winner, former University of Florida quarterback, now with the Denver Broncos. Tim, what has Coach John Fox, the new coach of the Broncos, told you about uh, your chances of starting next year? Well, um, from what he's just told me, it's going to be a competitive situation. Um, and, you know, we're just going to go out there, compete every day, and you're going to win it on the field, which is um, all you can ask for. And I'm excited about that challenge, that opportunity. Because uh, I love competing, and I, I've been working uh, extremely hard to get ready for it. And you know, when it comes when we start OTAs and mini camps and training camp, I want I want to be ready and show that I can compete and and try to lead that team. Tim, um, Urban Meyer also out at ESPN the weekend this weekend. You're going to hang out 
with uh, uh, Coach Meyer, and also how shocked were you when Coach Meyer resigned, and have you noticed a more relaxed Urban Meyer since he has Well, resigned? I wasn't necessarily shocked when he resigned because um, I knew that he, he wanted to spend more time with his family, wanted to do it for his health, and he has been more relaxed, although – um, he was at the Super Bowl with me, and he was getting pretty fired up when he was watching <laughs> the game. So it's going to be pretty hard for him to stay away because he's almost as competitive as I am, and, and I will be able to hang out with him this weekend uh, You know, here at Disney, and I'm looking forward to that. And he's already been texting me because he wants to play me in golf, and he's saying that he's going to crush me. And I, I'm like, Coach, listen, I just had lessons from Jack Nicklaus. I'll be – I'm going to – I'm going to, you know – because we always used to play at Florida, so this will be our first time in over a year, so I'm looking forward to it and uh, to playing with him. So that will be a lot of fun. Okay, Tim, was that just one of those Tim Tebow stories we hear that really isn't true? Uh, somebody told me you were down at the Honda Classic playing with Nicholas, and there was some 385-yard hole, and you drove it to within two feet of the pin. Is that true? <laughs> I don't know if it was 385, um, but the first hole was about, you know, 340 or something like that, and I was able to drive it to um, to a little past pin high. Um, wow! But, but uh, did yeah, you make the putt? No, I still three putted for a <laughs> I mean, you know, everybody else, you're, you know, I was so far ahead of everybody else. I'm on the green. You know, in one, so I, um, it's a driver putter, and then I three putt and <laughs> far. And Jack Nicholas is like 150 yards back, and he birdies it. It's like what? <laughs> hey Tim, um, watching the the coverage of the NFL Combine last week, and they're talking about Cam Newton. It's almost like they were. It's almost like you last year when you're watching this. Are you? Is it? Is it like flashbacks? <laughs> well. Um, I didn't actually get to watch it, so I didn't have too many flashbacks. But um, but I have heard some about it, and uh, there's a lot of controversy and talk and everything around him. And so, um, can he throw the ball? What about his throwing motion? It's uh, it's almost the same thing. Um, well, I guess, I guess it is similar, but um, you know, it's, it's an interesting situation and the success he had last year. I, I think you know he did, he had a great season, and I'm interested to see what happens to the next level and where he gets picked. So, um, you know, I just I wish him the best of luck. Speaking with Tim Tebow here on Open Mic and 740 of the game, is too much made of the combine experience when you're talking about guys going out of nowhere and look at their 40 time and look at how many reps they can uh, bench? Well, um, to be honest, I'd probably say a little bit. Uh, yes, just because the combine is an opportunity where you can specifically train to go in and do events that you have trained your body for, and you can do really good at those. That doesn't mean you're going to be a great football player. That doesn't mean you're going to have competitive excellence. That doesn't mean you're going to make plays in the fourth quarter, and and that doesn't mean that you actually know how to play the game of football well. So um, I think I, you can you can look at those things and you can eyeball people and you can see and compare certain players and that's that's great and I think it is very useful. Um, but they got to be able to play football first, and you got to get football players before you get combine freaks. Okay, time for the tough question, Tim. Let's do it. Been holding it. Been holding it. What does Tim Tebow? Does Tim Tebow think the Jaguars made a mistake <laughs> by not by not drafting Tim Tebow? Well, I definitely think it's a uh, it, it's a great place in Denver for me to be there, and I love being in Denver. I'm very <laughs> thankful to be there. That is the right spot for me, and so uh, I'm very thankful that everything. I believe everything happened for a reason, and I believe I'm in Denver for a reason, and I love it there. And so, no, I wouldn't change a thing. I've said that you're going to be president someday, and with an answer like that, you are a politician, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk like that. How are you not a part of the labor talk today? It could all be hammered out by midnight tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with political, with a political Mr. dissertation. Me and, just, me and you should just go to um, all the labor talks and just finalize this. <laughs> we could. I'm telling you, we could hammer this out by lunch, you know, and just go grab a bite afterwards. Absolutely. Maybe play a little golf afterwards. Sure. 
Tim, last thing. Have you had a chance to, to meet Coach Muschamp? Do you know much about him? What are your thoughts on him as the new Gator coach? Well, I haven't been able to meet him in person. I've been able to talk to him quite a few times on the phone. Um, and I think, you know, I think the first thing that strikes me is that he is very passionate. He loves is this opportunity. He loves what he does. And I think that's a great quality to have as a coach. Um, I was able to play against him in college and he had great schemes. I mean, not good schemes against us. He had great schemes and I hated playing against him because he did a lot of unique things on defense um, that really were frustrating to go against. And um, and so I think that is an edge that Florida will definitely have now uh, with him and his schemes and how hard he works to prepare his defenses. And so I think, you know, with his passion and with his knowledge for football, I think those are two great qualities. I think he's going to do a great job. And I just hope the team rallies around him and the coaches rally around him and and they really get on board, and, and everybody um, get, puts both feet in and goes to work because um, that's when you'll be successful is when everybody um, puts both feet in and gets to work and you have one team instead of a lot of individuals, and, and I think you'll be able to accomplish that. He is Tim Tebow, one of the great players and great ambassadors in football history and a man who wears briefs. Tim, thank you for joining us today at Open Mic. Absolutely. My pleasure. It's great to be on here. Thank you so much. God bless y'all. Appreciate it.